I've used similar type of uh, camera systems before, wireless camera, receiver, this in particular has got a 2TB hard drive. Um, I have a, a similar system, a smaller system installed in my place and it works beautifully, it's been there for months. But I was asked to buy one for work. Um, we have quite a large establishment, so we went for a, a six camera system, a two terabyte hard drive, so plenty of space to record everything that we need. And what I will do is uh, unboxing it with you, take everything out, checking it and, uh, and test it. So before, we, uh, before I take it to work and install it on board, I want to make sure that it works well and I want to make sure that it's nice, reliable, strong signal and everything else. I will assume that this is the main unit, so let's get to it straight away. Um, and uh, as I said, I will install it here first and uh, do some, some testing. So we have already a good set of instructions, uh, fantastic. These are already some of the, um, just as a quick glance, but some of the clearer than I can see. Um, you have already all the information with regards to the app and clear instruction with regards to the installation, the software and everything else. So that's a really good sign. Main unit, um, nicely protected and uh, yeah, already two units attached. This comes already with a two terabyte hard drive. Uh, bring it, we have already a mouse uh, to control the unit, power cable and I assume this is the power adapter for the main units, that's correct. So uh, I really like the style where everything has been divided in a sensible way instead of uh, having everything crammed into the same thing. These are the six cameras, uh, so let's take one of them out and we'll have a look at this straight away. So um, camera is uh, metal, so um, you know it will withstand all the weather condition, even of the British weather, with no issue whatsoever. Let me get rid of the plastic, I don't want to break anything yet. There we go. Okay, feels very good already. Um, infrared sensors over there. I think, yes, um, I think this is one of those cameras that with a simple nut can be adjusted in whatever position you want it. So you release the nut to uh, adjust the position. Um, again, it tilts in all the axes. Once you're happy with it, all you need to do is just twist in a single uh, nut of it and uh, everything will stay in the position that you've chosen. Right now, of course, I put it upside down, but it's fine. Um, the aerials also uh, for the individual cameras are assume, uh, I assume are in one of these boxes. So let's have a look together. Oh, okay, nice. We have also some uh, stickers. Um, in some respects, it's a legal requirement, in particular on certain establishment, well, or on, uh, on any establishment, if it's not done in, in your own home, to put some stickers up, so it's good to have them. And um, here, as I said, we have the uh, aerials for the camera, all the little antennas for the cameras. I assume the two little boxes are the same, but we will open it in a second. So the adjustable aerials um, attached directly to the camera over there. In a second, I will attach some. You also have a selection of um, covers for the cables itself because let's keep in mind guys then these are wireless however they still need to be uh, powered up so in every of the two boxes there are three little sub boxes and I assume there are the uh, power adapters in here exactly there you go I will take everything out in a second and lay it on the ground so we can have a better look so um, Yes, so everything is here and also we have all the uh, installation nuts and bolts. So, brilliant start. Little touches to show the quality of the system. I mean, as I said before, the stickers, the, the manual is very good. You have already a network cable inside. And another thing, 
Um, on this camera, I didn't put an aerial yet. I mean, you have all the six aerials provided, but I didn't connect it because one of the cameras that I'm going to use at work is going to be quite far from the main unit. And I was concerned about potentially the signal. Well, the manufacturer, it seems that has already thought about that as well. It has included with the kit a very high power aerial uh, with you know, a pretty long cable, I assume, looking at the size and the length of it. Um, so it will be possible to use this instead of the little aerial. There we go. Yeah, this is a, well, I would say at least three meters cable. So um, it does attach exactly the same way as the little aerial will do. And, uh, and by doing so, we also have a camera with a, a remote aerial um, which can be moved to a more suitable position and it will send a much stronger signal than potentially this one will do. Um, alternatively, anyway, it's possible also to buy high power aerials for this type of connectors, but I'm pretty sure we will be all right with it. And the last thing I want to show you is the, uh, are the ports, the ports on the main unit. So we have a VGA connector, uh, an HDMI, which is probably the one that I will use, a VLAN for the network, two USB, fantastic to have it. We have the mouse already to control the unit. And then the connector for the, for the power adapter. Um, on the front of the units, you have the light for the power and the hard drive, um, showing you when it's working. And a quick indication of what the, the unit can do. Um, brilliant system also, then it works with Android and uh, iOS system. So you can actually track everything through your phone. And it gives you an indication that it's also HD. And the cameras as well um, are all 1080p camera, two megapixel, so the quality should be stunning. Okay, guys, just one way to find out. Let's set it up. Okay, guys, so I just connected the system and just to show you very briefly, all I did is attaching the HDMI, uh, the USB, which is the mouse, and the power. Everything is switched off. I will turn it on directly in front of you so we see together the result. I've also put all the cameras in different positions and what I will do is turning on, as you can see, this is a normal television. I will turn on the machine. Um, we will see the, the uh, program starting from this machine and then I will run away, turn on the cameras and we shall see if the system finds the cameras on its own or not. So let me begin by turning on the machine and then we'll find the right channel there you go so hdmi 3 is where i put there you go that is the uh, security software already starting up i leave you alone i'm just going to run away and turn on the cameras and, uh, and i'll come back in a second Hey, here I am, fantastic. Um, well, you probably saw it before me. All the cameras are coming up on their own. Um, I put them all around the house in some of the furthest possible location to uh, the unit itself because I wanted to see um, how good was the reception. One other thing that I need to uh, tell you about the quality of the system is um, the length of the cord for the power adapters of the camera. It's far, far longer than I ever seen on any of this type of equipment. It's nearly twice as long. It's about two meter long at least, which is brilliant because it allows me to then put the cameras further away from power. As you can see, I've put one of them in total darkness. Um, I would like to check them during the night, but my family tend to go to sleep quite early, so I don't want, uh, you know, to disturb them later. But this is in a closet, which is completely in the darkness. Now, as you can see already for, from the quality of the camera, the picture looks absolutely stunning. Um, definitely, this is far, far greater quality than my cameras are. Um, definitely 1080p uh, quality. You can uh, digitally zoom in uh, by doing so. Swap around between cameras. With the right button of the mouse, then you can come up with all the different options uh, that you can manually change. So you can change the layout, you can change, for example, you can create a privacy zone where 
um, if you have the cameras then activate automatically you might not be interested in the, in having the the sky activating the camera so you can create a sort of a privacy zone where the camera doesn't get activated if something moves there but just on the road you have all the different color adjustments and everything else at the moment there is no uh, password set for the system because uh, well as you know we just set it up uh, together uh, but of course you can create whatever uh, password you want to create uh, very nice and easy video playback to go there to a previous recording um, I mean the whole thing is nice and easy works brilliantly and this in particular is fantastic because I've downloaded following the instruction the software um, it's called IP Pro software is, uh, is now on my phone um, I then went to other device and chose the uh, cloud ID system which should be that it comes up with a QR code let's scan it Let's see what it does. So I'm submitting it now, it's loading it. Okay, is it that simple? Wow, okay. Um yeah, sorry for sending surprise. It is that simple. Um so yes, I mean uh, my network is a bit slow in fairness, but the cameras are coming up all beautifully. I mean just to show you very quickly. Um, they are of course the same cameras that we have over there so there you go so that's the camera and that is it so yeah sorry guys the phone is not picking up the picture too well but as you can see they are exactly the same camera uh, through the whole system so that's uh, that's brilliant not too sure if I can see all the six cameras or I can just check four in fairness but uh, I'm sure there is a way to work it out. I'm not too sure yet how, but uh, yeah, I mean, guys, even this system it works uh, very easily. So I can just recommend it. So far, it works beautifully. Yeah, guys, just a, a little thing with regards to the general setup. You can see all the information and all the options you can change through this, and the 1080p cameras are definitely showing on the screen. Um, Again, on the video detection, the bitrate, the channel details, there you go. There are all the six cameras on uh, 1080p, um, two megapixel, actually three megapixel bitrate. So that's why the resolution is so good. Anyway, guys, until the next one, bye.